committee advises the government to extend the state of emergency in Thailand to the end of July. The move is seen as important to the oversight of the reopening of Thai schools and ongoing quarantine efforts for incoming passengers entering the kingdom. The key committee also suggested that the extraordinary legal powers needed to be in place as the government finalizes its fifth and final stage of reopenings including entertainment venues and sports stadia. A top government committee monitoring the COVID-19 outbreak and emergency measures has recommended that the Thai government extend the current state of emergency for a further month until July 31 next. The decision came on Thursday and will extend the operations of the government's COVID-19 center in its sweeping overarching powers across key government departments and agencies. This is the regime that has overseen the country's fight and efforts against COVID-19 since March 26 last. The announcement came from the Secretary General of the National Security Council, General Somsak Rungzita. Thailand is widely seen as having successfully countered the COVID-19 threat with only 58 deaths and on Tuesday last passed the point where the threat of a COVID-19 case of local transmission has receded due to the incubation nature of the virus and the length of time without such a case which went over 28 days. At the end of May, the top official had indicated that he saw the measure being suspended on July 1. State of emergency should be prolonged. After the committee to advise on the lockdown met on Thursday, General Somsak told the press that it had agreed to request that the COVID-19 Situation Administration Center, CCSA, prolong the current emergency. The move will be officially communicated to the CCSA on Monday and will then be considered by the Cabinet on Tuesday, 30 June, for a final decision. Important for the final stage of reopenings. He specified that a key reason was to oversee the reopening of Thai schools next week and the fifth and final stage of reopening in the domestic economy including high-risk venues. These include entertainment venues and sports stadiums. Not in any way connected with politics. The National Security Council official underlined that Thursday's move was not, in any way, connected to politics or political advantage. General Somsak emphasized that the state of emergency can be lifted on an ad hoc basis if the relevant officials deem it to be appropriate. These statements were directed at sniping comments from some quarters among those who distrust the current administration and suggest that the powers granted to the COVID-19 center and the prime minister's office could be used by the government to stifle political opposition and critical commentary of the government. Protection of children as Thai schools are set to reopen cited as a key reason for the decision. General Somsak was adamant that the priority was the protection of children in the course of the coming weeks and the final stage of reopening domestic activity. The important thing is to contain the spread of the virus effectively and conduct as many COVID-19 tests as possible. Cautious note on tourism without quarantine or the implementation of travel bubble plans. On foreign tourism recommencing with visitors being allowed to enter the country, the official struck a very cautious tone. He explained that travel bubbles entail incoming visitors to the kingdom without the 14 days quarantine requirement. This could still take several months to work out between officials in Thailand themselves and participating partner countries, he suggested. The Thai government has already confirmed, however, that the first foreign visitors can be expected in Thailand after the 1st of August. It is being suggested that these may be from Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, New Zealand, and Australia. Negotiations are taking place with interested countries and it is also expected that visitors will be coming from cities and provinces in China where the COVID-19 virus is under control. These tourists will be monitored using a villa quarantine concept being developed which means they will not be required to enter the state or alternative quarantine system. State of emergency essential for quarantine and the controlled entry of incoming passengers, Sanu. The extension of the state of emergency was held up last week by Deputy Prime Minister Zanu Kriyangam as essential for the orchestration and the processing of incoming passengers to the kingdom under the alternative quarantine scheme which places strict personal limits on those entering the kingdom and requires strict compliance from participating hotel and hospitals. The continued existence of the state of emergency if approved next week by the Thai cabinet, while it may not preclude the opening up of incoming passenger flights on a controlled basis, certainly does indicate that we will be living with a more restricted regime at least from now until August 1. Further reading. Thailand's closure biting harder as one airline gets ready to cease operations forever and lays off staff. Only 2,000 foreigners have yet registered to be reunited with loved ones as tourism to also reopen. 
Banks ordered to cease dividends and shore up balance sheets on fears of loan quality erosion due to slump. Thai Airways probe into its low fare income for 2019 and move overseen by former Met Police Commissioner. Foreign spouses can begin applying to go home to Thailand as ministry has released entry criteria this week. Marriage partners of Thai nationals prioritized for entry into Thailand but under strict controls to be announced. Key ministries met on Sunday to discuss access by foreigners to the kingdom and a tourism relaunch. Thai public says no to foreign tourism and also predicts one to two years for travel to return to normal. Only hope for foreigners locked out of Thailand as easing continues with strict controls on entry. Ministers suggest an easing of the travel ban for some tourists but a continued state of emergency. Thailand plans to prioritize Asian countries in its search for safe COVID-19 tourism bubble partners. Australian Envoy says its embassy and others continue to work on helping stranded foreigners get home. Access to Thailand opening up. It will be cautious, quite expensive with tight regulation and ministry controls. Thai security chief suggests a full reopening of the kingdom to international flights from July 1. New normal for foreigners seeking access to Thailand even after flights resume if virus persists as a factor. Growing concern and frustration among a large number of expats cut off from their families in Thailand. Australian man's heartbreak cut off from his Thai wife. Begs to be included on repatriation flights. Thailand extends ban on inbound flights until July 1 at the earliest, blow to foreigners and tourism. Spouses of Thai wives down under denied access to limited repatriation flights from Australia this week. Australian retiree is spending his own pension money on supporting the poor during the crisis in Chiang Mai. Stranded 66-year-old German tourist seeks help on the street from a good Samaritan in central Bangkok. Police in Phuket await post-mortem results after deaths of two elderly Westerners last weekend at home. Stranded Russians offered free food in Phuket as Aeroflot begins to airlift over 21,000 stranded home to safety.